so Sanjay Gupta gets on there to encourage Joe to get vaccinated, and Joe calls him out about CNN's portrayal of him. And uh, so we can watch the clip if, if you haven't seen. It. We'll watch this clip real quick about what what Joe, how this goes down between him and Sanjay, real quick. I'm missing. So you think I that want to, that's a problem that your news network was not, lies? Well, I don't. I don't. Th- Dude, I mean, what did they say? They lied what and they said say? I was taking horse dewormer. First of all, it was prescribed to me by a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Along they with shouldn't have said a it was bunch horse. of if, other if medications. Was, if you got a human pill because there were people that were taking it the veterinary medication and i you're not obviously you got it from a doctor so that it shouldn't be called that ivermectin can be a very effective medication for parasitic disease and as you say it's probably you know i think what a quarter billion people have taken it around the world more, i get that way more so way more can, billions can, of people have taken it can i just come back to the one i want to talk about I, two, no no two, no, no, two no, no things no. on you the ledger to, you have before we get to that does it bother you that the news network you work for out and out lied well, just outright lied about me taking horse dewormer they, they they shouldn't have said that why did they do that i don't know if you hear the word misinformation you might be getting fed something that might not be misinformation yeah, i'm here somebody who recovered from covid in less than a week was he and he even says in, in certain parts of the video he says that mm-hmm. it was it wasn't even the worst cold that i ever had now granted and he's smart he says uh, th- he even says later i believe that a lot of people should get vaccinated you know people who are high risk people who are extremely overweight and he says because his case is not always everybody's case he's a healthy mma fighting type dude that like has a great immune system and he gets all of his meds as soon as he finds out he has symptoms he gets treatment it was not a vaccine. When speaking about the vaccine and COVID, we cannot reduce it to being so simple as, well, that's just misinformation. It's such a big issue. You can't just say that. It's not that simple. So, and I understand why CNN would try to paint Joe Rogan as this kind of purveyor of misinformation mm-hmm. that don't take the horse dewormer and they tried to use it as a way to defame him. I understand why, because he has a huge following. And he's not some – he doesn't fit the mold of what you you call like a Trump supporter Republican. He's not that. If anything, he's kind of a libertarian, yes, middle-of-the-road yes. kind of guy. He's got fans and followers on both sides of that that great divide. And uh, so I can understand why they want to try to defame him. I can understand why they want to make him uh, you know, belittle his influence, let's say. And that shows that there's not journalism anymore. It's all activism. You know, it's all with an what agenda. What do you think of when you think of the word activism? When I think of the word activism, I think of a bully. Bullying Dude, the bullies. Activism. Gosh, I know that's a, man. that's a turn. But when you said that, like, my, I just went activism. I went gross. Yeah, do, well, because it has <laughs> changed now. It used to be It used to be fighting the establishment. Now activism is with the establishment. Activism, what activism is to me, in my opinion, is mm-hmm. is those people anymore yeah. what what is considered true like I hate to say it, but leftish leftist activism or social justice warrior activism, since it's so adopted and embraced by all of our culture and all of our media yeah. and all of the establishment, it it is what activism is is a, a breeding ground. It is a, a program designed to breed what I like to call thin-skinned, soft-bellied potato people. Joe Rogan, in, in this interview, Joe Rogan is not this type of beta male guy. He's an M- MMA fighter, alpha male type dude. He was a stand-up comic, which takes like incredible guts to just throw yourself out there. I mean, when you bomb as a stand-up comic, bro, there's like nothing worse than that. The rejection, you're just laying it all out there, and they just can boo you right off the stage. And so here's a guy that obviously charted his own path and and, and created uh, independent wealth he pursued independent wealth he got it he has great influence he's an alpha male type figure he he uh probably represents what a lot of people would call sort of toxic masculinity and all this kind of stuff that i emphatically disagree with a lot of it um and he's not this i will be controlled i will i will regurgitate and 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 say back out everything you tell me i'm going to say he's not this programmed bot of the establishment ideology he's not a thin-skinned soft-bellied potato person thin-skinned man when you're thin-skinned your nerves are exposed you are ready 
to, to be offended. And you're attack. You are ready to be offended and attack, dude. You you can't but take not a, like this. You like can't that. take a joke. I've said this before, <laughs> dude. In the music industry, I've had people say I've written lines of co-wrote a lot. I've had people say that is the crappiest line I've ever heard. Like, are you? I've had them say things like, dude, you say you write songs, things like that. Like, if you don't have thick skin at that point, if you can't take heat, if you can't take some some. Uh, so, so some difficult conversations, some difficult uh, yeah. and and uncomfortable moments. You're done. Do the activist thing when they say that in a songwriting. Just be like, "You're a racist and a sexist. You can't say that to me." And use that use that tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Dude, okay, it, Cliff, when did you dye your hair blue? It, oh, the, dude, the soft belly deal. Where yeah. I get that thing from is you can't take a punch. That's part of it. Yeah. But what that means is you have no guts. You got no. You got no constitution. You're not standing up for anything that requires difficulty. You're not standing up for anything that requires a lot of guts. You're standing up for the things. You're a voice box and a mouthpiece for the things that are already okayed and uh, by the establishment media. You'll stand on the lar- the biggest soapbox there is and, and, and proclaim to the heavens with the loudest voice possible the thing that everybody in power thinks is okay. And that takes no guts. That takes no heart. That takes that takes no no resolve, no constitution whatsoever. And that's that freaking soft belly potato person, bro. And dude, people like and and and, and the proof of that is I want to show this other clip. So Sanjay then realizes how 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 he was portrayed, how his interview with Joe Rogan went. He realizes that, and so he gets on CNN and he posts, or they start talking to him. They ask him questions, and uh, the way they praise him for his interactions with Joe Rogan. It blows me away. It blows me away. You got to see this. Like, oh my gosh. And in this case, it can cause inflammation around the heart. Do we know what the long-term consequences of myocarditis in young people that comes from the vaccine are? The only way we can know long-term things, to be perfectly honest, uh, of any of these aspects of the vaccine, the only way we can know long-term stuff is with the passage of time, you know, for certain. That's terrifying for well, parents. It, it, it the is. The idea that your son could get vaccinated and most likely he would have been fine if he got COVID. I don't know that we can say the person will be fine if they get COVID, Joe. I mean, A young boy? Well, if they, the I, Most young boys with no when you comorbidities. you say fine, you mean what? That they're not going to die? I mean, like me? I had COVID. You you, you I'm look fine. like you look like you're strong as an ox. Yes, I give you that. I think it'd be better to get the virus and recover and have amazing immunity to but it. What, like, wouldn't I, it be? Well, you could get sick. though. You know what I think you should do? You I think you should sick. get vaccinated and then get sick. <laughs> what? This is why. <laughs> why, why. Because then you got the vaccine protects you from a bad infection, and then you get COVID. So then you get the robust immunity that's imparted from having okay. the actual disease itself, which is far more complex and comprehensive than you're getting from the vaccine that targets one specific yeah. protein, right? I can, you can make that argument, I think. Yeah, so that's so, the move. You all get- right. Whew. It's a lot there. It's like trying to herd cats, Sanjay, in a discussion like that. He shoots off in all these different tangents. Sanjay, you're a prince. I don't know where you get your patience. Uh, I, I really don't. Um, a remarkable display of calm and patience there. The fact that they brag about him being willing to just... You would listen to someone with a differing opinion? You are so brave for being able to to sit in a room with somebody with a different opinion than you and and talk to them and be patient and calm. It's like the dude over... I'm not not like a... A judgmental person but the dude on the far end of this of this interview that guy over there he's, he just seems like this sniveling the classic sniveling beta male like i can't believe you sat in the room with this guy man you know like just oh like classic butt kisser how could we possibly have a conversation of discourse dude. to maybe learn something and none of these clips none of these clips of of him and joe rogan and their interaction does it seem like they're threatening i mean joe rogan's a class act he's a freaking professional bro like he's one of the number one podcasters there are and he's and he's he's not threatening him. He's not losing his cool. Neither one of them are. I'm not saying anything negative about Sanjay, this the doctor. He's a, he's a he seems like a calm, cool, collect dude. But these people here painting him out to be this like brave hero because he because he was able to sit in a room with Joe Rogan, a, a person with a contra, con, contradictory opinion, and listen to it. What kind of people are we breeding? If you if the if the average person can't sit in a room with somebody. Who has a different opinion have, and talk. Have you ever looked at like a Ben Shapiro Facebook thread? Not even his, but like if it's a meme about him. 
Mm. Go look at the people negatively commenting on it, like saying like, oh, like Ben Shapiro, he hasn't been laid in five years because his wife and the whole whatever. But it's like the IQ level of your average person that would hate Ben Shapiro, would hate Joe Rogan. Dude, these people are not smart. The left's version of that is our talk show hosts like Stephen Colbert. They get our orders barked down to them, and then they say, You guys are awesome. Keep standing up for truth. Keep uh, defending justice. And as always, keep being awesome because that's how he made you.